today I have to tell you something very interesting, very exciting for those who play Blade and Soul because this video is about Blade and Soul again, like most of my videos do. So let's get into it. So as you can see, the site right here, Blade and Soul site, it has been updated, it has been overhauled to look more nice and more updated, more new compared to what it looked like before. Because before it looked pretty nice as well, but it has been updated appropriately because of Unreal Engine 4 as you can see here. So as you can see, Unreal Engine 4 is arriving on September 8th, 2021. So what we'll be getting is, according to the speculations we had before, 25th of August, 8th of September, or maybe 15th of September. Because there has been some delay and we didn't really know when we would be getting it. 25th of August was already determined to not be the release date. So it was either 8th of September or 15th. And since they updated the site and since they actually announced it, we will be getting it on the 8th, which is, which is really great to see. Well, so with that, we'll be getting the Dual Blade. So that's a new class and probably a new uh, a slot voucher for that as well to create a new class and actually play it. Which is really nice, but it hasn't been confirmed. But uh, since we always got that, I think we'll be getting that as well. Next to that, we'll be getting Dream Forest. That's a new dungeon. It's gonna replace Fornwind Cavern as the highest dungeon. So instead of Dream Forest, it will be called Forest of Echoes. And uh, it's aptly named as a foe. Because you're fighting your old foes again. So yeah, I think Brett would say something like that on stream or whatever video they would be making to explain the name of Dreamforest. With that, Unreal Engine 4 will be getting a new outfit if you have done the event that's currently running. So if you're already playing Land of Soul, make sure to do the event, get enough tickets and exchange it for the outfit uh, voucher or ticket, whatever it's called. If you are looking forward to getting the outfit, with Unreal Engine 4. Don't really know what it will look like, but what you will be doing is just do dailies 3, 5, or 7. You'll be getting uh, chests or packages which you can actually open up. There you get coins, exchange those coins for the outfit tickets. And when Unreal Engine 4 has been released, you should be able to exchange it or just in, uh, instantly get it on your in your inventory and uh, be able to use the outfit and adornment if you also got a ticket. So on the side you can see, if I go to the new tab that is, as you can see the Unreal Engine 4 update, they have a new uh, section for that. You can scroll down, dual blade with preview of that, with each uh, specification. The left one is called the wave of the shifting blades, which is more PvP oriented for as far as I know. And the Wave of the Lotus is more PvE oriented. As I've seen most people play PvE with Wave of the Lotus and more people playing with Wave of the Shifting Blades on, in PvP. But uh, I'm not really sure. Anyways, I'm still looking forward to playing this class. It looks really cool, exciting. It has some 5 Blade Master of course. But also other classes like uh, Gunslinger with movement and uh, Warden as you can see on the right. And here you can see the Force of Echoes is very grim and grayed out. But when you're at the very end, when you're fighting the bosses, one boss that is, it can change to multiple different foes you already have fought before. For example, Jin Soyun, so that's one of your foes, but also Master Hong. And you'd, you'd say, Master Hong is not my foe. Yeah, you're right about that, but if you remember Circle Sundering, if you ever have done that, it's a solo instance dungeon. And at the very end, you will be fighting Master Hong. So there he was your foe, which makes sense. And that's why they probably named this the Forest of Echoes instead of Dream Forest. It does grasp the essence of the story and uh, the dungeon itself, because you're facing your old foes again. So it's a nice wordplay. Other than that, we'll be getting system updates on no in November instead of September or starting at the beginning of October. So I think what they're doing is they're waiting for updates in Korea. So we'll be getting uh, the patched up versions of these systems. For example, the battle UI, as they are looking into improving that. 
and the breaker system. As you can see here in the video, the breaker system. So there will be a breaker bar underneath the HP bar of your bosses. As you can see, it's here in the dream forest. The final boss will be getting uh, with the forest of echoes. But right now in Korea, they don't have the break bar yet in the dungeon. They only have it in the mythical dungeons. So I think they are adding it to the dungeons as well before we actually will be getting it as well. So that's what I'm thinking and I hope that really is the case because otherwise it doesn't really make sense to wait that long before we get the, the content because honestly I'm really looking forward to playing the content. I want to try out mythical dungeons, this dungeon, uh, the breaker mechanic, the new uh, system updates, also the skills that has been changed. Like we'll be losing some buffs but will be uh, more useful I think in dungeons and mythical dungeons. So that's something I'll, I'll be looking forward to. Also, adding to that about the Dream Forest or the Forest of Echoes, this is the first dungeon we'll be getting, which is a four member dungeon instead of a six. So it's easier to gather more the people needed to actually play it. So that's nice. And if you do not have that many friends to play with at the time, it's much easier to actually go in and, for example, duo it if it's possible. Or play with three people instead of six because otherwise you'll be having the highest dungeon and then you need six people and you cannot play with less if you want to or have to because for example when I play usually it's night and then there's not that many players which sucks so it's much harder for me to do the higher content hopefully this is doable with uh, just two or three people other than that, I would like it actually to be scaling to how many players you have. That would be cool, but I don't think any dungeon has that at all. Which is sad, but that would be a really cool idea for Play and Soul. As you can see here, we'll be getting revived experience. Which means we'll be getting less lag, uh, less stutters, and known streams will be faster. As you can see on this video, which I have talked about before as well, Here's the loading screen time on the right, that's UE4, and on the left, that's UE3. So, the left is what we have right now, the right is what we're getting. And that was about 6 seconds of loading screen time. And on the left, it will be about 16. That is a major gap. Which is good, because it's a major jump for us, which is nice. On the background of this page, you also can see the, f the final boss of the first mythical dungeon. But I think we'll be getting that with a, con a content update, since Korea did get that as well. But this is really weird because it hasn't been uh, mentioned at all. So whether we'll be getting it November or later, it's not really certain, but I think it should be November, together with a better UI update and the break system, because the breaker system has been implement together with the mythical dungeon in Korea so that would be nice or maybe sooner than without the breaker system in September but that would be really weird to have the mythical dungeon without the breaker system at all that's what we'll be getting on the top of the screen there's a new button as well the pre-purchase button so if you click on that we go to the new uh, web page of Planet Soul here you can select endcoin purchase pre-membership or revival packs. As you can see, we're already on the revival packs page. So what is a revival pack? Basically, it's premium membership with some additional things. So the apprentice, uh, apprentice pack is just 7 day membership, master pack is 30 day membership, and grandmaster pack is 90 day membership. As you can see here, those are the benefits you'll be getting. The exception for the apprentice pack is that it will be getting additional slot voucher which none of the others will get i think it's just to prepare you for dual blade but i wouldn't recommend you to get this unless you make a lot of characters and you plan on doing that then yes do get it but uh i think when the dual blade actually releases we'll be getting a free voucher as i said before as well which is usually the case with the new uh, classes being implemented in the game also, I think we'll be get, uh, we'll be able to actually purchase this before Unreal Engine releases, and when it releases, we'll not be able to purchase this, or maybe just one week 
something like that after releasing from the Unreal Engine 4. So let's dig into it. As we already saw, 7, 30, and 90 days pre membership. We'll be getting exclusive titles. All of them are the same as the Master of the Realms. And the Cricket Bundle, all of them are the same as well. Dragon Soup, 5 times. Gold Chest, 1 time. Dragon Trade Pouch, 10 times. And Legendary Gem Hammer, 10 times. Which is nice if you want to upgrade or need to unlock your slots on your weapon or your bat for the gems, which is not really nice. Gold Chest, also, we really need gold, so that's great. The difference between the first pack and the two other packs is mostly because of the other chests and items as you can see here. So the Master Hong bundle, they will be the same as you can see. 5 fusion stones, 1 sacred vial, 1 pet pack, 3 reputation charms, exceptional reputation charms that is, and 3 special home wound charms, including character alteration. So you can actually uh, change the appearance of your character if you want to. And that's really nice because Unreal Engine 4 will make your character look a little bit different. So that's why I think these two packs are actually better than the additional voucher. Because you can actually change the appearance of your character if you do not like what your character looks like right now. Or you may want to add something to your character to make it look more distinct or more what you want your character to look like in Unreal in 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 Engine 4. So yeah, there's that. But you'll be also getting the Galaxy Wings. And if I open the preview, here you can see it. So these wings, I will zoom in, have a special effect. If you jump or run, it has a special sound effect or a particle effect. Like it's gonna be blue when you're sprinting. And when you jump, it's gonna be red, I think. Or while gliding, it's, it's red. And it will make some mechanical sound while you jump. Like it's trying to boost and lift you up from the ground. So it's really cool to have that. But I would recommend you to go for the middle option if you want to get the items. But if you really want the wings, then go for the last one. I did get uh, the Grandmaster pack, but uh, yeah, it's not mandatory at all. It's just nice to have. With that said, that's the end of the video about Unreal Engine 4 update and everything I've already talked about. If you want more on this content, make sure to check my uh, YouTube channel because I have plenty of videos I made before about Unreal Engine 4 where I talked about the dual blades, the content of, of what we were getting in November about the combat UI and the breaker system and the, uh, the mythical dungeon as well, or mythical dungeons in fact. So make sure to like, subscribe to my channel and leave a comment down below telling me what you think about Unreal Engine 4, the packs you saw, uh, are you looking forward to it, are you going to play again, what class do you play and uh, whatever you think I should talk about uh, as well. And right now is actually the time for me to plug something for myself because I'm going to stream again which I haven't done in about 7 or 8 months. I, I stopped streaming because I was getting tired doing it. Why I did get tired is because there was no real interaction and I didn't feel like I had much to, to stream. So what I'm thinking about doing is I may stream every single week on Sunday but I will not guarantee it because often I felt like I didn't really enjoy streaming because there was really nothing I had to do and people weren't really interacting so I got tired of doing it. So yes I will be streaming on Sundays and I will stream mostly Blade of Soul but I may also be streaming Call of Duty, Black Ops Cold War, Warzone maybe or Tekken 7 or maybe some other game but usually Blade of Soul. I decided to start doing that right now because I upgraded my PC recently with a new CPU and a new GPU. So I went from 2700X to 5800X CPU which is really good and I went from a 1070 to a 3070 Ti which actually was cheaper than a 3070 so that's really cool for me. Still expensive but it was a really great deal for me to have that. So I can stream on max settings and I can play Unreal Engine 4 also on absolute max settings without too many issues. So there's that. 
I hope you like this video and I hope to see you on my streams. If you do not know where I stream, I stream on Twitch and the, my streamer name is Rally Token, just like on uh, YouTube, so it's easier to find me. I also have links down below in the description. You can click on it and you can just go and follow me there and hit me up when I'm streaming. I'm thinking about streaming in the afternoon, something like that. But I will update you on Discord if you are looking forward to that. So make sure to also join my Discord. And uh, if you are a streamer or a content creator, you are capable of actually sharing your stuff there as well. I definitely do support people who want to create content, whether you're really good at it, really new to, uh, to it, really experienced, just feel free to do that, to drop your uh, stuff there. Because it's all about the community and interaction and i think that's really good really fun and uh i hope to see you there see you in the next video or stream peace